What is going on everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. Out here in the shop, I haven't got a chance to work on any bikes in a long time. I've just been so busy getting the shop cleaned up, everything organized, and it's come a long way. So thank you all for the patience if you're only here just for the bikes, but an even bigger thank you to everybody who's enjoyed the barn building series and who's really stuck around and shown support. We just hit 18,000 subscribers. I'll go into more detail on that later, but I just appreciate everybody on this channel and it's just one awesome, amazing community that we're building together but i'm doing some riding this weekend and she's gonna be the bike of choice so let's get this drz pulled out get her cleaned up and i've got one mod that i've been waiting to do to this thing for a long time and i think you guys are gonna like it first things first this thing is covered in dust from sitting pretty bad when you can ride on your own bike so over the past like six months or so i've been using this sprayway plastic cleaner and I've gotta say, this stuff is money. I'll go ahead and drop a link to it down in the description below. It's way cheaper than Plexus and it does a fantastic job. It smells good too. guys after a quick wipe down she's looking a lot better she's gonna be ridden a lot this weekend so i'm not gonna waste my time detailing it it looks plenty clean enough so you're probably wondering what mod am i gonna do to this thing well probably not because it'll be in the title and description so in today's video we're gonna be changing out the stock seat cover this is really gonna make the bike pop and it's just little things like that that make a huge difference now with the stock seat on this bike and many other bikes they're made out of this real slick vinyl material and i'm not sure why because this stuff is slippery Especially if you're wearing street clothes, you're just sliding all around. I like to do wheelies. And when you're doing wheelies, you want to have as much grip on the seat as you can. Especially if you're throwing one-handers, no-handers, seat standers, knee knockers, any of that stuff, you want the grip on the seat. So this is long overdue. I don't know why more bikes don't come with gripper tops. I guess just because of expenses. And it'll definitely be nice to get rid of this tacky Suzuki logo. And we are going to get rid of the strap as well. So let's show you what we got. Man, all that box just for that. Oh man, I was hoping that was a sticker. That's whack. Woo, this thing is sticky. Man, she's looking good. Would you check that out? That's sexy. Now all motocross racers use these type of seats. I even have one of my KX250 and this thing is awesome. I always love riding with this seat. But I will leave a link down to this in the description below. It's pretty affordable and they make them for a lot of bikes and especially the DRZ. This one was designed for the stock seat on the DRZ. So let's hope she fits. Oh yeah, that's gonna look good. Now to install these seat covers, there's a couple different methods. The easiest one being a pneumatic staple gun, which I'm gonna be using in today's video. It's just so much easier. And if you have access to an air compressor, or heck, you can find them so cheap these days, just a small pancake compressor. You might as well have one around. But you can do this by hand. My buddy MJ did it in Tennessee, and that was a little bit of a different story, but you can get away with using a hand stapler just fine. And the purpose of saving time and just making it easier on ourselves, we have the compressor, so we're just gonna use it. But if you guys don't have access to a compressor, just use a staple gun like this. I'll go ahead and link a cheap one down in the description below. So first things first, let's get this seat popped off of here and remove the old cover. We're gonna start by loosening these eight millimeter bolts on each side. <laughs> Now to take this strap off, you'll have to take this whole panel off. And just like that, your seat will come off. Got one more 10 mil on top. Now the next step is pretty tedious. We're gonna have to remove all of these staples. Just use a flathead screwdriver and get to work. All right, you guys, that wasn't too bad at all. Got all the staples out, just pull the cover off next. Aha, I missed one. You devious little one. Whew. It's funny how clean this is underneath. It actually doesn't feel too bad. I know a lot of people complain about the DRZ seat, but 
I haven't had too much trouble. So when you're starting to put the new cover on, you're gonna wanna start with the nose. As you can see here, it has this nice pocket and the back is just a flap. So just get that nose on there. Now the biggest thing with doing seat covers is you do not want any wrinkles. You don't want it to appear loose because it just looks so bad. So once you get that nose on there, nice and tight, it might help if you leave this in the sun for a little bit too. But the next thing I would do is just pull this all the way back but you don't want this section too tight because when you get done, it'll start folding up the seat. So it might just take some trial and error, but before you get too many staples in there, make sure you're on the right track. And as long as you're not tearing up the seat, you can do this several times and it's not like you have one shot to do it. But before we get too far into this, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using. We just have a little pancake compressor and a cheap staple gun. I'm just using some T50 quarter inch staples that I have. I wish I had longer, but we'll see if it works. All right, let's get some staples loaded up in here. and we'll give this a try. So much easier with the pneumatic staple gun. Now once that's started, you're just gonna wanna work your way around and start getting some staples in there. A little rapid fire there. But what you wanna do is just move yourself equally around so it doesn't pull too much to one side. So far it's coming out pretty good. Sometimes you gotta kinda push your thumb into it and work it out, rub it out. Not even bad. Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned to you guys, this is the first seat cover that I've ever done in my entire life. And I've gotta say, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I just hope it's not too tight to where it brought the nose of the seat up too much, but hopefully when it's locked down, it'll be all right. I think we're good. But let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing installed on the bike. I can't wait to see it. Exactly have the best riding clothes on, but let's get a feel for it. Oh my gosh, it's pulling my shorts off. This thing is grippy, and that's exactly what I was going for. Man, that is nice. Woo! I gotta say, guys, I could not be any happier with the way this came out. It looks great, feels great, and I can't wait to ride with it. I'm pretty proud of that. For the first seat cover, no wrinkles, and it looks dang near perfect. But that's gonna do it for today's Five Minute Friday. This is a series that I've been wanting to do for a long time, just doing quick little easy mods like this. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait for the riding footage, and if you wanna get a sneak peek at that, make sure you're following me on Facebook and Instagram, because YouTube's a little weird with riding lately, but that's still not gonna stop us from having fun. And if you haven't already, or if you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed down below. It's free. Click the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything and if you guys think this came out good or you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button but man i can't wait to have some fun on this seat this weekend headed to columbus in a couple hours to watch sea bear stunts do his thing and i hope to see some of you at the aim expo on saturday but until tomorrow's video i will see y'all later